the Partido Democrático Pilipino Lakas ng Bayan, lit. Philippine Democratic Party Power of the Nation, more commonly known as PDP Laban, is the ruling political party in the Philippines. History Background and Early History, 1983 to 1988 the party now known as PDP Laban is the result of a merger between the Partido Democrático Pilipino and Lakas ng Bayan. Partido Democrático Pilipino PDP, was founded on February 6, 1982 in Cebu City by Aquilino Nene Pimentel Jr. and a group of protesters against the authoritarian government of Ferdinand Marcos, the 10th President of the Philippines, and the then ruling Kilisang Bagong Lipanon KBL. These protesters included the leaders of Davao City and Cagayan de Oro City, such as Zafiro L. Respicio, Ray Magno Teves, Cesar R. Ledesma, Samuel Oseña, Crispin Lanarias and Morgs Kua. Merger and participation in the 1986 SNAP elections By 1983, PDP had formed a coalition with the Lakas ng Bayan, Tagalog for People Power. Party, founded by former Senator Benigno Aquino Jr. in 1978. In 1986, the two groups merged to form the Partido Democrático Pilipino Lakas ng Bayan or PDP Laban. During that period, PDP Laban became the single biggest opposition group to run against the presidency of Ferdinand Marcos in the 1986 SNAP presidential elections. Corazon Aquino, the widow of the assassinated Senator Benigno Aquino Jr., became the party's nominee to run for president. Aquino was persuaded to run by businessman, newspaperman and street parliamentarian Joaquin Rosas, who was convinced that Aquino would have the biggest chance to defeat Marcos in the polls. Rosas started the Cory Aquino for President movement to gather one million voters in one week, to urge Aquino to run for president. However, another opposition group led by Senator Salvador Laurel of Batangas was also participating in the election, with Laurel as its presidential bet. Before the election, Aquino approached Laurel and offered to give up her allegiance to the PDP Laban Party and run as president under Laurel's United Nationalist Democratic Organization UNIDO Party. Laurel later approached Aquino, offering her only the vice presidential nomination of UNIDO, or UNITY. In the end, Laurel became the vice presidential running mate of Aquino, after being convinced to do so by the Archbishop of Manila, Jamie Cardinal Sin. PDP Laban then aligned itself with UNIDO, which became the main group and leader of the coalition which opposed Marcos. After the People Power Revolution of 1986, which saw Aquino and Laurel proclaimed president and vice president, respectively, PDP Laban continued its alliance with UNIDO until the latter's dissolution in 1987. In 1988, PDP Laban was split into two factions, the Pimentel Wing of Aquilino Pimentel Jr. and the Coanco Wing of Jose Coanco Jr. The Coanco Wing and the Lakas ng Bayan Party of House Speaker Ramon Mitra Jr. merged in 1988 to form the Laban ng Democraticong Pilipino Party. Presidency of Rodrigo Duterte and Congress Majority, 2016 Present As of May 2016, PDP Laban is headed by its president, Senator Aquilino. Coco. Pimentel III, after the then-incumbent Vice President of the Philippines, Jejomar Binay, resigned as party chairman and left the party. Binay later created United Nationalist Alliance or UNA. The party is currently regrouping, and there are some movements of expansion especially in Mindanao, where it originated, particularly in the Davao region. Two of the party's founders, Crispin Lanarias and Cesar Ledesma, are again active in recent party activities. After the 2016 elections, PDP Laban signed a coalition agreement with the Nationalista Party, Lakas CMD, National Unity Party and the Nationalist People's Coalition, witnessed by then-President-elect Rodrigo Duterte. Immediately after the May 2016 elections, several representatives from other parties moved to PDP Laban, notably, Geraldine Roman, Bataan, Alfred Vargas, Quezon City, and Ansaradan Adiang, Lanao del Sur. The party. S presence in the House of Representatives eventually grew from three members in the 16th Congress, to 123 members in the current 17th Congress. 
By April 2018, 300,000 politicians had joined the party, according to Coco Pimentel. Reacting to the influx of new members, party founder Nene Pimentel urged members to question the motivations of new incoming politicians and ensure they are interested in the party. S. Ideals. He stated that these new members might only be interested in identifying with the current administration. In order to boost their chances of winning in the upcoming 2019 elections, PDP Laban plans to learn from the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. It is set to send some of its members to the CCP's school in Fujian for policy training to learn more on how the party is organized. The Filipino Party also established ties with United Russia, Russia. S. Ruling Party, on October 2017. PDP Laban has also expressed interest in sending a delegation to the Workers' Party of Korea, which is the ruling party of North Korea. A four-member delegation is set to meet with the North Korean Party in July 2018. Leadership Crisis On July 23, 2018, the same day as Duterte. S. Third State of the Nation Address, an internal leadership dispute within the House of Representatives. Majority resulted in former President and current Pampanga Representative Gloria Macapagal Arroyo becoming Speaker of the Lower House, replacing Pantaleon Alvarez. The resolution was adopted that same night with 184 out of 12 representatives voting in favor. Arroyo was previously a member of LACA's CMD, before switching to PDP Laban in 2017. Some representatives, including Deputy Speaker Rolando Andaya, Cameron Sir, are eyeing to shift towards other political parties after Arroyo's ascendance to the House's leadership. Andaya also said that some lawmakers might join LACA's CMD, Arroyo's former party, and merge with Sara Duterte Carpio. S. Hugpong ng Pagbabago, HNP. Duterte Carpio denied rumors that members of PDP Laban were seeking to move into HNP, which is a regional party based in Davao region. Succeeding these events, a faction sought to unseat PDP Laban's high ranking officials. Willie Talag, president of the party, S. Makati City Council and chair of the membership committee of the NCR chapter, said during an assembly of the party on July 27 that PDP Laban's current leaders have committed violations, including holding mass oath-taking of members without proper basic seminar and swearing in officials that are involved in illegal drugs. Quote, the faction elected Rogelio Garcia and Talag as party resident and chairman, respectively, removing Senator Aquilino. Coco. Pimentel III and Rep. Pantaleon Alvarez from their respective positions. Coco Pimentel dismissed the election of new leaders, disowning the group and assembly, and called the event an unofficial, unauthorized, rogue assembly using the name of PDP Laban. Senator Pimentel, who has personally dismissed the election, together with PDP Laban Vice Chairman and Department of Energy Sec. Alfonso Cusi, and Rep. Alvarez have notified members that the supposed National Assembly was not officially sanctioned by the party. Special Assistant to the President Bong Go said in an interview with CNN Philippines that Duterte is set to meet the two factions, in an effort to unite the party. Ideology and platform According to self-published material, PDP Laban seeks a peaceful and democratic way of life characterized by Freedom, solidarity, justice, equity, social responsibility, self-reliance, efficiency and enlightened nationalism. Its five principles are theism, authentic humanism, enlightened nationalism, democratic socialism, and consultative and participatory democracy. The party advocates a transition to a federal, semi presidential parliamentary form of government from the current unitary presidential system, through revision of the present 1987 Constitution of the Philippines. Symbols From the 1980s, the Laban or L. Sign was a hand gesture used by the party, along with other members of the Unido coalition, which originally supported Corazon Aquino. This was done by raising the thumb and index finger over the forehead, forming a letter. L. Shape. This was popularized during the People Power Revolution. 
In the late 2000s and 10s, the symbol became more closely associated with the Liberal Party LP, after Aquino's death and beginning from her son Benigno. Noinoy. Aquino III's presidential campaign. During the campaign and presidency of Rodrigo Duterte, the Laban sign fell into disuse within PDP Laban and was replaced with a clenched fist. The color yellow was also originally used by PDP Laban from the 80s until the mid 2010s, where it became more often used by the LP, yellow, or the law. And Dilawan, in Filipino, is currently used as a pejorative term by supporters of Duterte against the opposition. Current party officials Aquilino. Coco. Pimentel III, National President of the Party Rodrigo Duterte, National Chairman of the Party, Current President of the Philippines, Former Mayor of Davao City, Also a member of Hugpong Sa Tawang Lungsod, a local party based in Davao City. Alfonso Cusi, Vice Chairman of the Party, Current Department Secretary of Energy. Jorge Bernardo, Executive Vice President of the Party Salvador Tai, Vice President of the Party for the National Capital Region Virgilio Boat, Jr. Vice President of the Party for Luzon, Incumbent Mayor of General Tinio, Nueva Ecija Lutgardo Barbo, Vice President of the Party for Visayas Charito B. Plaza, Vice President of the Party for Mindanao Pantaleon. Bivot. Alvarez, Secretary General of the Party, Incumbent Davao del Norte 1st District Congressman Congressman Vincent. Bingbong. P. Crisologo, PDP Laban Quezon City Council President Quezon City Edwin Dayrit Rodriguez, PDP Laban Quezon City Council Secretary General Quezon City Melvin Matibag, Overall Deputy Secretary of the Party Ronwald Munsayak, Chairman of the Public Information Committee and Chief Political Affairs Officer of the Party President Senate President Coco Pimentel Martin Dino, Deputy Secretary General of the Party for Luzon, also Chairman of the Volunteers Against Crime and Corruption Benito L. Ranque, Deputy Secretary General of the Party for Mindanao Mario Espinoza, Deputy Secretary General of the Party for Bicol Region Aquilino, Nene, Pimentel Jr. Chairman Emeritus Notable and former members Elected President of the Philippines Corazon C. Aquino, 11th President of the Philippines Rodrigo Roa Duterte, 16th and incumbent President of the Philippines, former Mayor of Davao City, Party Chairman. Elected Vice President of the Philippines Jejomar Binay, 13th Vice President of the Philippines, former Mayor of Makati City, former Party Chairman, moved to UNA. Elected Legislators Ansaradan Alanto Adiang, incumbent representative of Lanao del Sur's 1st District. Rolando Andaya Jr., Deputy Speaker for the 17th Congress, incumbent representative of Camarines Sur's 1st District, former Secretary of Budget and Management. Pantaleon Alvarez, Speaker of the House for the 17th Congress, incumbent representative of Davao del Norte's 1st District, Secretary General of the Party. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, former President of the Philippines, and incumbent representative of 2nd District of Pampanga, House Speaker. Alan Peter Cayetano, incumbent Secretary of Foreign Affairs, former Senator, former Senate Majority Floor Leader, former Senate Minority Floor Leader, former Representative of Taguig City Pateros Lone District. Monser del Rosario, incumbent representative of Makati's 1st District and former actor and Taekwondo champion. J. V. Ejercito, incumbent senator, former representative of San Juan's Lone District and former mayor of San Juan. Amado Espino Jr., incumbent representative of Pangasinan's 5th District and former governor of Pangasinan. 
Joseph Estrada, former President of the Philippines, and incumbent Mayor of the City of Manila. Bayani Fernando, incumbent representative of Marikina's 1st District. Gwendolyn Garcia, deputy speaker for the 17th Congress, incumbent representative of Cebu's 3rd District, former governor of Cebu. Teodoro Loxon Jr., incumbent permanent representative of the Philippines to the United Nations, former representative of Makati's 1st District from 2001 to 2010. Ernesto Maceda, former senator who ran under this party from 1987 to 1992, later defected to Nationalist People's Coalition in 1992. Sergio Osmeña III, former senator who ran under this party from 2001 to 2007. Manny Pacquiao, incumbent senator, former representative of Sarangani's Lone District. Aquilino. Nene. Pimentel Jr. Former Senate President, former Mayor of Cagayan de Oro, Aquilino Coco Pimentel III, Senate President for the 17th Congress, President of the Party, Strike Revilla, Incumbent Representative of Cavite's 2nd District, former Mayor of Bacor, Lonnie Mercado, former Representative of Cavite's 2nd District, Incumbent Mayor of Bacor, Ralph Recto, Senate President pro tempore for the 17th Congress, Geraldine Roman, Incumbent Representative of Bataan's 1st District, Joey Salcheda, Incumbent Representative of Albay's 2nd District, former Governor of Albay, Federico Sandoval II, incumbent representative of Malabon's Lone District, Gian Sato, incumbent councillor of Quezon City's 3rd District, Gustavo Tambunting, incumbent representative of Parañaque's 2nd District, Abraham Tolentino, incumbent representative of Cavite's 7th District, former mayor of Tagaytay, Lucy Torres, incumbent representative of Leyte's 4th District, wife of actor and Ormoc Mayor Richard Gomez, Rolando Uy, incumbent representative of Cagayan de Oro's 1st District, Alfred Vargas, incumbent representative of Quezon City's 5th District, Luis Raymond Villafuerte, incumbent representative of Camarine Sur's 2nd District, former governor of Camarine Sur, Rinaldo Zamora, incumbent representative of San Juan's Lone District, Juan Miguel Zabiri, incumbent senator, former Senate Majority Floor Leader, former representative of Bukidnon's 3rd District, Yul Servo, born John Marvin Nieto, incumbent representative and former councillor of Manila's 3rd District, other notable members Members Benito L. Rancate, current Department of Energy, Philippines Under Secretary for Special Concerns and Local Government Units, former National Secretary General Josefina Joy, Belmonte, Quezon City Vice Mayor Leonor Briones, Education Secretary Jesus B. Cabanacan, incumbent Sangguniang Bayan member of Barugo, Leyte, Vice President of the Party for the Province of Leyte Richard Gomez, Ormoc City Mayor and actor Arnold Ignacio, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation Assistant Vice President. Roy M. Yap, incumbent board member of the 1st District of Misamis Occidental, Provincial President of the Party for the Province of Misamis Occidental Jiggy Manicad, Television Journalist Lodivico Mossett, incumbent Vice Mayor of Tomas Apis, Southern Leyte, Secretary General of the Party for the Province of Southern Leyte Emmanuel Pinol, Current Agriculture Secretary, Former Governor and Former Vice Governor of North Cotabato Alan L. Reland, Taga Mayor Aza Seguera, National Youth Commission Chairman Ismael Sueño, Former Governor of South Cotabato, Former Secretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, Former National Chairman of the Party Felipe Antonio Ipe B. Rimolo, Incumbent Mayor of Dumaguete City, Negros Oriental David M. Navarro, Incumbent Mayor of Claren, Misamis Occidental Ura Hercito, Former Governor of Laguna Jose Lito R. Mendoza, Former Congressman of 3rd District of Bulacan John Bong A. Alvarez, Incumbent Vice Mayor of San Miguel, Bulacan Francis Zamora, Former San Juan Vice Mayor 2016 Elections Presidential Candidate Rodrigo Roa Duterte formally announced candidacy on November 21, 2015 and officially filed Certificate of Candidacy on November 27 and December 8. Juan Martindino filed his candidacy on October 16, 2015, withdrawn on October 29. Note, Dino earlier stated that should he withdraw his intention to run for president, Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte would be his substitute. Vice Presidential Candidate Alan Peter Cayetano, PDP Laban guest candidate, a member of the Nationalista Party running as an independent candidate. References External links Official website